Hello, my name is Cedar Cedeño and I am the presenter of this work which, which is titled Ultrafast Synthesis of HCOS-1 Nanoparticles by Solvothermal Method, Properties and Possible Applications by Boris Carizov, Lucy Gonzalez Hernandez, Oksana Carizova, Igor Uplayan, Israel Lopez, Luis Garay Rodriguez, Leticia Torres Martinez, Miguel Angel Mendez Rojas, and myself. Metal organic frameworks are well known crystalline microstructures formed by molecular building blocks and strong bonds. Its microstructure consists of hybrid materials such as organic linkers and metal ions, or polynuclear co clusters of metal ions, known as SV SVUs. Its large surface area, porosity, pore size, tunability, along with it, its easiness for adding organic functional groups, makes them superior candidates for a variety of applications such as catalysis, sensing, pollutant removal, energy storage, and drug delivery. As the literature indicates, a variety of HCOS-1 have been synthesized by solvothermal methods. However, this technique exhibits notorious drawbacks, such as the temperature from 80 to 400 Celsius degree and a synthesis time from 4 hours to 72 hours or even weeks, which may be translated into astonishing energy cost and safety risk. In this work, we present for the first time the fastest synthesis of a crystalline HCOS-1 at 5, 10, 15 and 30 minutes in a conductively heated, non-conventional solvothermal monowave 50 Anton Parr reactor. Furthermore, we characterize the crystalline structure, morphology, particle size distribution, optical properties, and surface area. For the synthesis of this material, a determined volume of a Cooper nitrate rehydrate solution, considering water as a solvent, and a volume of trimesic acid solution, considering DMF as a solvent, were mixed in a beaker at 500 RPM for five minutes. Then this solution was transferred to a borosilicate glass, BL, along with a stirring bar and sealed with a silicon cap. Thereafter, the reaction vessel was put into the monowave 50 reactor and heated at a temperature of 140 Celsius and magnetically stirred at 300 RPM for 5, 10, 15, and 30 minutes. Then, four blue dispersions were obtained and centrifugated at 3,500 RPM for 10 minutes to obtain four, four blue, blue powders. Next, these powders were washed three times with DMF and distilled water to eliminate unreacted precursors. Finally, the blue powders were dried in an oven at 120 Celsius for three hours, ground in an, ag in an agate mortar, and stored for their characterization. The amount of product obtained per reaction was between 165 and 205 milligrams which was higher than the reported values by the solvothermal method in the literature. Therefore, the calculated yields per reaction at 5, 10, 15, and 30 minutes were 84, 96, 181%. For all the synthesis, the crystalline reflections agree with the scientific work of Swan et al and they can be attributed to a phase center cubic crystalline lattice. No impurities or secondary phases were found, and it was observed a preferential growth for the 440 crystallographic plane owing to the synthesis method. Additionally, a mean crystallite range between 50 and 60 nanometers was estimated using the three reflections with the highest intensity and the Scherrer equation. Further structural characterization was done by infrared analysis over the HCOS-1 samples. The elucidated FTIR signals are the same for all the powders synthes synthesized at different times, and they agree with the report signals in the literature. In the morphological characterization through field emission SEM, 
It was observed a pattern of growth and reduction of particle size after increasing the synthesis time, which was ascribed to the phenomenon of Oswald ripening. After a synthesis time of 5 minutes, rock like polycrystals with a particle size of 143 plus or minus 42 nanometers were synthesized. However, these nanoparticles are thermodynamically unstable since they are unable to keep their size. Then, when the synthesis time reached 10 minutes, a redissolution was observed and the particles exhibited a size of 83 plus or minus 29 nanometers with a quasispherical morphology. After increasing the synthesis time to 15 minutes, the redissolved species agglomerate into bigger crystals, searching for a lower energy state. Consequently, the estimated particle size was higher. 171 plus or minus 33 nanometers. Eventually, after a synthesis time of, of 30 minutes, rod like and quasi spherical crystals are found in a range size from 44 to 143 nanometers, showing the lower size among all the synthesis time. Owing to the synthesis times of 10 and 30 minutes yielded a product with a particle size close to the mean crystalline size, the obtention of monocrystalline nanoparticles might be concluded. To evaluate the specific surface area and pore size of H plus 1 samples, a nitrogen physisorption analysis was carried out. It was observed that the obtained specific surface area values oscillate as the time increases, which agrees with the estimated particle size. The highest values of a specific surface area were 4.91 and 12.02 square meters per grain, corresponded to the synthesis times of 10 and 30 minutes, respectively. Meanwhile, the lowest values of a specific surface area were 2.59 and 2.97 square meters per grain, which belonged to the synthesis time of 5 and 15 minutes, respectively. Moreover, these crystalline materials can be classified as mesoporous materials, since a mean pore size of less than 5, 5 nanometers was estimated for all the samples. Finally, the optoelectronic properties were evaluated by a diffuse reflectance spectroscopy analysis and the estimation of the band gap energy using the Kubelka Monk transformation. The band gap energy values were estimated in a range from 3.42 to 3.55 electron volt with a slightly red shift in absorption as the synthesis time increases from 5 to 30 minutes. These results were in agreement with the ones obtained by other reports. In conclusion, the synthesis of HCOS-1 in a conductively heated reactor has been carried out in the shortest synthesis time so far reported, with the reaction yields between 84 and 100%. Overall, the synthesis time of 10 minutes showed the most interesting properties with the possible presence of monocrystalline nanoparticles. Due to the high degree of crystallinization, the particle size, and the optoelectronic properties, an enhancement in today's applications such as photocatalysis, energy storage, pollutant removal, or drug delivery may be foreseen. Thank you so much for your interest in our research work.